This video will tell you what to do if your computer or laptop gets too slow and how to reduce disk usage in Windows 10, 8, 7 and Vista. After buying a new laptop or a PC with the latest version of Windows as a pre-installed operating system, or after reinstalling or updating their operating system, users often face the problem of 100% disk usage. This problem has a serious effect on performance of your computer. It wears out your HDD or SSD faster and makes your work with the system less comfortable. This problem can also emerge for a number of other reasons. 1. There is too little free space on your system drive. Make sure your drive C has enough free space. If you do have this problem, watch other videos in our channel where we deal with this topic in detail. You will find the link in the description. 2. This problem can also come from activities of malware working in the background mode and eating up your computer system resources. We discussed this topic in detail in our previous videos. You will find the link in the description. 3. Your hard disk may have logical errors. Watch our previous videos to learn how to fix them. You will find the link in the description. If dealing with these problems has not helped you, we can share several other methods of tackling them. So, how can you reduce excessive disk usage? Step 1. Enter services in the search field. Find Windows Search and change its startup type to Disabled. As a result, content indexing, property caching and search result caching for files, emails and other content will be disabled, and it will reduce disk usage. Then find services Superfetch and Prefetch and change their status to Disabled. This function is not so necessary for modern computers. What is more, it is recommended to disable Superfetch and Prefetch for SSDs. Despite these services were developed to speed up and optimize your operating system, in practice they often use resources of your PC in a very irrational way and can give a hard time to your memory and hard disk even in standby. Then find Background Intellectual Transfer Service bits, and change its startup type to Disabled. The work of this service can have a negative effect on the bandwidth of your Internet connection, and it can use your disk in the background mode automatically downloading programs and other data connected with Windows Update Center or MSN Explorer. Step 2. Start Task Manager by pressing Ctrl-Shift-Escape and choose the tab Start Up to see what applications start with the system. If there are any programs you don't use but they put pressure on your system, you can disable them by right-clicking on the application name and selecting the option Disable. In the tab Processes, you can also see the list of tasks currently using your computer and the hard disk too. It may be an antivirus running in the background mode and so on. If there are such processes, right-click on them and select End task. Step 3. When installing or deleting updates, programs and drivers, system restore points can be created automatically. It can slow down your computer. Watch our previous videos to learn how to enable or disable this process. You will find the link in the description. Disable file history if this function loads your system too much, or assign a separate physical disk for this process. Watch our previous videos to learn how to enable or disable file history. You will find the link in the description. Disable automatic defragmentation. Don't forget to run defragmentation regularly, but it's worth disabling its automatic mode. You can watch our previous videos to see how to do it. You will find the link in the description. Automatic updating of Windows, Office and other software can also increase disk usage. Most programs do it in the background mode. Have a look in the Processes tab of the Task Manager to find such programs. In the previous step, I showed it with the example of CCleaner, and you can find more information in our previous videos. You will find the link in the description. Another reason why your disk becomes so slow is that it can be used within your network. For example, some of your office staff may use shared folders on your hard disk for work. Try to have a separate physical disk or even use a file server for such purposes. If you are using cloud storage services by Dropbox, Google, Yandex and so on, it would be better to have a separate physical disk, better an SSD for storing and synchronizing data. Generally, comfortable speed of the system can often be achieved after installing an SSD to use as a system drive. It will considerably speed up your PC at a minimal cost. 
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the like button below, subscribe to our channel to see more and share useful videos with friends. If you have any questions to our ideas, leave a comment. We will answer everyone.